Hello all, welcome to Tech Business. Before I start my today's video, I would like to thank all of you uh, for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. And when I started my uh, channel, I never even thought to reach uh, 100, right? So uh, thank you uh, for your, all your support and uh, uh, your love. I would uh, hope the same will continue in future. Uh, thanks all. So let's start uh, today's video. Today we are going to uh, focus on the various roles of architecture. Like uh, we have enterprise architect, solution architect, and technical architect. So we'll understand what all these three roles do, and we'll jot down uh, uh, along right their responsibilities in this uh, canvas, so that we understand uh, what exactly their roles and responsibilities are. Right. So uh, enterprise architect basically works as a at a enterprise level. Uh, for example, uh, you if you work uh, for a for a for a very uh, uh, big bank, right? And in that bank, there might be multiple divisions such as uh, consumers, small business, wealth management, uh, private banking, right? So, but uh, every division might have different architecture or different ID systems. But uh, enterprise architect will understand uh, as a high level what is happening and try to find out the synergies between those uh, architectures, right? So the first the first goal of enterprise architect to understand uh, the vision and mission of the company, right? So every CEO of company defines their company's uh, mission, vision, right? So enterprise architecture, uh, architect understand uh, uh, company's mission and goal and try to uh, define the scope and structure of company's architecture, right? So whole uh, company architecture, for example, so let's uh, put this uh, down here so that we also get this uh, uh, map ready in front of us. So I say first thing, uh, enterprise architect uh, will understand uh, the goal and the mission of the company and define the scope and the structure, right? The structure of uh, whole organization's architecture. The structure uh, of uh, organizations architecture right so because uh, every division have their own own uh, scope but there should be a very i mean at a high level there should be some scope defined right so this is the first uh, goal or main goal of the of the enterprise architect then uh, they have to define uh, some blueprint right blueprint means that the roadmap right so uh, suppose uh, you you have uh, some credit card systems right now maybe uh, they are some legacy systems but uh, what you want you want to modernize them right so you have to develop and also uh, maintain uh, some blueprint right what you want to achieve uh, develop and maintain enterprise architecture blueprints right so maybe right now uh, whatever systems are there they are legacy based but in future you want to uh, make them modernized more digital so but you cannot do uh, that particular uh, uh, task in one day right so uh, you have to define some roadmap okay how i am going to uh, change over from this legacy based architecture to the modern architecture and then uh, also align the IT strategy like for example uh, for example uh, your company is uh, all uh, in premise right you have all system servers uh, every component right are the basically uh, in in uh, on premise right so you don't use cloud but now uh, you think that okay cloud architecture might be uh, beneficial right because uh, it might uh, reduce uh, reduce our cost so you are, but you cannot do it at uh, once, right? So you have to define your IT strategy, okay? So right now, maybe at current moment, my company is uh, having all infrastructure in-house, but in long term, I want to go to uh, cloud, right? So I want to use the cloud infrastructure. So, I mean, uh, like this, there might be multiple product in your company, it might be you are using some vendor product, uh, but you want to go to uh, uh, like in-house product or some other product, right? So how you are going to reach there? What is your strategy, right? So uh, 
Uh, Indian Heavy Tech also aligns the IT strategy and does the planning, right? Uh, planning uh, with company's goals. So if company think that, okay, I, I want to reduce my cost, right? So this company's goal, that I want to reduce my cost. So uh, you have to think uh, in terms of IT, okay, uh, in IT, okay, if I go for the cloud strategy, so it might reduce some cost, right? So you have to think in various aspects and align your IT strategy and plan as per the company's goals, right? Then uh, every uh, every uh, every company will define uh, some kind of uh, standards because uh, across uh, across your organization you want to you want to make sure that uh, every uh, architect or every developer follows those enterprise standard right so and also some compliance so the also uh, enterprise architect also basically make sure that uh, he ensures uh, that compliance is happening whatever standards uh, it, it def uh, he, they have defined as a maybe as a uh, executive board of the architectural uh, uh, right they will make sure that uh, those are uh, those are compliant with the architecture standards so whatever standards uh, we have defined they should be uh, this should also be uh, followed by the whole company right so these are these are like a few important i mean there are many uh, uh, standards and guidelines. So you will give some guidelines to uh, your uh, your uh, your companies, uh, architects and developers, and you want to make sure that they are following. Uh, they are uh, they are basically uh, complying with those guidelines and the standards. And another important uh, thing is that when you define all your IT strategy, you define the scope of the. Uh, company's architecture you develop the blueprint right then and you also have uh, some uh, uh, standard and guideline defined and then what is the next role next role of the enterprise architect is to oversee right oversee implementation oversee implementation of systems which uh, in terms uh, as per the guidelines and the defined strategy so oversee implementations also okay so these are the few uh, few uh, important roles and responsibilities of the enterprise architect, right? So you might think that, okay, what, I mean, they are doing at a very high level. Definitely, uh, enterprise architect is not, uh, I mean, it's like a working at a very high level, working with companies, CIOs and CTOs, and also with the CEOs, right? Uh, ultimately, because they, whatever their decisions are, they are going to basically impact the whole company, right? So now let's move to the solutions architect. Solutions architect is uh, at the, might be at the uh, division level. Uh, for example, in your company, there are five divisions. So there might be uh, some group of uh, social architect will work, who will, who will work at that level and define the, uh, define uh, the IT strategy and their compliance, whatever, and their solutions, right, at that level, maybe at project level as well. So, so main, the main uh, role of the uh, solution architect is to, to understand the business requirement, right? So because uh, they are the one who are going to develop solutions and designs, right? So they will, they will liaise with the business uh, users and understand their business requirement, right? So understanding the business requirement is really important uh, so that they will be able to provide some solution. I, I, I mean, if they're not sure what is the requirement itself, they cannot uh, uh, they cannot do anything right so the the, the first and foremost uh, role of the uh, solution architect is to understand the business requirement and in this uh, they will uh, basically uh, talk to various business managers or business people and analyze the requirements and care requirements so this is like a main important uh, part of their uh, work second thing is that once they understand uh, the business requirement they have to define the solution architecture right so they will uh, design or define the solution architecture now in this in this uh, in this role right in this particular task there might be multiple uh, multiple aspect are there for example first they will define a high level high level uh, solution right so uh, they will define the high level uh, design or solution uh, so that at least they they define the interactions between the various components in the system maybe because there will be multiple applications so how they are interacting at the higher level that is the first uh, foremost goal 
and second is the uh, technology selection right now uh, sometime as a architect right we are at crossroads because what happens that now suppose for example you want to to uh, define some kind of architecture uh, that is focused on the asynchronous communication now if you go to market right in the technical market you will see okay i have i can use mq or i can use kafka right so every every technology has their some pros and cons based on your it strategy and your cost factor i mean there are many things right so now uh, the the uh, another aspect of their uh, roles is that to uh, to do the uh, technology selection so they have to do some kind of a comparative analysis between the various products available right then uh, they have to choose the uh, uh, the technology which is like as per the uh, as per their uh, uh, requirement right so this is also important uh, factor now because uh, uh, this role is basically interacting with various applications maybe uh, various uh, uh, big applications that have complex code right so another thing is that how to integrate system so they also have to plan the integration maybe you have defined your solution at higher level uh, you also uh, did the uh, whatever the uh, uh the selection but now you have to and also make sure that whatever you are doing uh, that is that is integrated seamlessly so that there is no issue as such in this and the whole application uh, working so they also do the integration planning now next is thing is that basically uh, now this is like a uh, main task right main task which they have to do for sure another thing is that they have also they also need to ensure the compliance right compliance and standards uh, which have defined by the enterprise architecture so they also have to ensure uh, ensure compliance and compliance and uh, uh, best practices right for example your enterprise architecture says okay i want system which is highly resilient highly resilient right or which is highly scalable so you have to see that okay whether my system which i am um, designing is resilient or not whether it can tolerate the, uh, i mean any issues or it has good uh, fault tolerance whether i can scale my application quickly in case uh, there is a requirement right in case there is a spike in the users uh, uh, in the system right so all all security security is a really important aspect right because uh, lots of uh, hacking happening and a lot of uh, threats are there to id systems so uh, various aspect of uh, compliance uh, like uh, security compliance and how we are basically complying with the standards and the uh, guidelines and then scalability and performance so these are the uh, few important uh, important things which they have to think right so first thing is the security is very important security is uh, paramount and then uh, standards whatever standards we have defined here to must uh, make sure they are being followed by the low level uh, developers i mean developers and the uh, other architects and then scalability scalability is very important because any system you define right it might need to go to uh, the uh, uh, increased user uh, count so you have to make sure that your application is able to scale very well and also do a good kind of uh, performance you can, can give right then uh, there are like a uh, few things i will not write down here but you should also understand that then because these people right they interact with various uh, various people right so this is important uh, for the collaboration right so they have to collaborate with the various uh, maybe other applications managers technical architects developers business people right so this is a very important uh, need of the collaboration and communication so this is also a very uh, critical piece of uh, their work because they have to uh, do the stakeholder uh, communication right and they also uh, provide some kind of documentation so that they are able to communicate well whatever they are designing all so uh, collaboration and documentation is an important aspect of their work uh, because they have to talk to various stakeholders and uh, collaborate with them get approvals right so this is also important and then uh, I, i mean at a high level uh, they also do kind of quality assurance monitoring and evaluation evaluation right and then if there is some kind of issues in system they have to troubleshoot okay 
problem solving is an aspect of every job, but uh, this is also important here uh, because sometimes uh, because they know overall architecture, right? So they are the person who are able to uh, basically uh, solve problems quickly than others because others might have just a view of their own application, but uh, solution architect have a view at a higher level. Okay, so these are various uh, roles and aspect of the uh, social architect. Now let's uh, focus on the uh, technical architects. So I think this is like a very uh, known uh, role because normally developers are performing this role uh, very well. So what they do, they design and uh, develop uh, the solutions, right? Solutions uh, for application. So whatever application you are you are developing, right? So you have to design and develop solutions. Uh, for software, whatever software you're writing, you have to write uh, the code for that or design for that, right? Then uh, you have to lead the technical teams. Might be you will be uh, having the uh, multiple teams, right? Uh, which are good in technical, but they might not be good at the architectural aspects. So you have to uh, lead them, right? So that they are able to, uh, uh, in terms of architecture, they will be well versed with you, okay? in architecture, architectural designs, right? So, because see, developers might code something, but you have to make sure that whatever component you, they are writing, it is highly reusable. And uh, if you want to extend that, you can ext I mean, extend easily, right? Because see, something is written just one time use, not a much useful, but as a uh, tech architect, you have to make sure components are, uh, components are reusable and you can also modify them easily uh, in future, okay? And then uh, 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 whenever we are doing any uh, technical solutions, technical selection, right? So in that, in uh, in that, in that time, right? Normally we do some POCs, okay? So POC uh, might be done by the tech architects. So uh, technical se selection support. So they suppose uh, we have uh, three or four competing uh, technologies of uh, framework, right? So. Uh, tech architects will go and do POCs and compare performance or what are parameters you, we have as per our requirement and then uh, provide the uh, the report I mean to the uh, those are basically other architects that they can decide which is the best uh, kind of solution for our uh, our our application then definitely uh, collaboration and documentation. Collaboration is really important. So uh, with all the stakeholders being developers, managers and other uh, architecture roles. So collaboration and communication is paramount to every uh, every uh, every role. And then they also define uh, the, uh, I mean, they also define the low level standard, like for example, uh, at coding level, like at a programming level, language level, what are the standards that to follow so that we are compliant? Okay, so yeah, so these are the various uh, roles which I tried to basically uh, cover at higher level. Uh, I mean, there are multi, there are many more, uh, but these are the like few I tried to cover. Uh, I hope this will give give you a good perspective. If you are a developer, uh, you will get to understand that, okay, uh, what are the various roles and what they do at higher level. But if you have any question and you want to understand any uh, particular aspect of uh, their roles, uh, please put in the comments. I will try to make a video uh, reply uh, to, your, to your comment. Uh, thank you all uh, for watching my uh, video. Uh, please uh, subscribe and share with your uh, technical friends. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.